Hey everybody, and welcome to Sprickin Studios. I'm your host, Mr. Sprickin. Yeah! And I'm feeling better from my second vaccine dose. Yes, but uh, I am feeling very nostalgic and uh, a little melancholy, is that the word? Maybe it could be. Um, and that's because this is the very last uh, video from Sprickin Studios version one. Yes, I am moving from this wonderful home that I've known this past year into an even better home with my fiance. And I'm creating Sprickin Studios 2.0. Yes, that'll be very exciting and wonderful and amazing. But uh, before I move from this spot, and packing up all my stuff, I wanted to squeeze in one last video. And I thought, what can I do? Uh, I can't obviously do any painting or stuff like that because everything is gonna be packed. So I gotta come up with something quick. So I figured maybe I can do a review, yes. So I just picked one that I thought maybe could benefit you guys that maybe you didn't think about or you know, you're kind of like meh, it wouldn't really catch your eye at first, but maybe I could show you why it could be worth getting. And what is that? It is none other than the Rockman X Rising Fire version by Kotobukiya. Yes, this is an awesome kit. If you're a Mega Man fan, Rockman fan, first of all, then you would know already this is gonna be amazing kit. Super amazing. It's like you just grabbed the character from the uh, video game and uh, now can hold him and play with him exactly how you would want as a kid or even now as an adult. It's amazing and cool. And what's really cool about it is that I first got this just to kit bash. Yes, I, I know it's blasphemy, it's blasphemy. Uh, I just got the parts because I love, like, I love the boots, I love the cannon thingy. I love it all. So I wanted those parts to kit bash with our Masuma kits, right? Because we always are looking for cool things to do with our Masuma kits. It does a great job at that. So let's dive in, see what's in the box, and uh, see how good the build is. Wonder what I'm going to give it. 100 of 10 Spriggans? Okay, maybe not that crazy, but it's going to be a good one. So I can already tell you I'm going to suggest buying this if you can. Or ones like it, because there are a few. Okay, so right straight out of the box, we got your usual steak, uh, some cookies, uh, a fortune cookie, uh, and some empty runners. Yeah, that, that about does it. What am I doing? First off, we have the book. Great artwork, but the same as the book. I mean, same as the box. Inside we have some more cool artwork. This is from uh, like an anime, animated version. And uh, some pics of the actual kit. And we have the usual instructions and at the back some more cool pictures, dynamic pictures of uh, the kit itself. Which is awesome. And on the back, I guess this is just like a basic color chart. Yeah. No decals or stickers for this uh, kit because it's not needed. We got some uh, pre-painted faces that we're going to show you. So here's everything you get with the kit. As you can see, he's amazing. Yes. And then uh, over here we have a bunch of hands. These hands are super cool. Really nice and big. And uh, you know, he has the option just to have both of his hands or just the uh, blaster in the hand, which is great. We have three facial expressions, an open mouth, kind of uh, distressed, teeth and just a regular generic expression and uh, for the other hands we have these uh, these are kind of like the uh, the fire induced powered up version hands yeah so we've got a fist with the wrapping flames around and here's another one and uh, this can attach as we will see to things like this amazingness, this super blast. And then we have uh, some cool flames here. We have another flame kind of uh, this look when you can either have this accompanying a blast or this could be like, you know, when he's like doing the super dash, have this behind him. And another cool effect part that you can have for the blast when it's coming out of his cannon. And this is just a piece to connect. So that's it. Not too much, but uh, it's all great. Now let's see uh, how he stacks up in size comparison to uh, other kits. Here's how he stacks up against some uh, 
of the Masume kits. He's a shorty. Yes, standing just over five inches when the rest of the ladies are kind of uh, right at the six inch mark. So a full inch shorter, but it matters not because what he lacks in size, he makes up for in epicness. Right, girls? So as you can see, this kit is amazing. It's amazing proportionally. It's like perfect. Straight out of the video game. Oh, I love it. And it poses like like a dream, right? Like all of the, the joints uh, move excellent. They're like, they're not too stiff, but they're stiff enough to like hold any kind of position you want. Not going to be any flimsiness. Yeah, and they're just like such nice, nice fitting everything. Whee! Yeah, and it's got these nice clear parts on the bottom of the uh, feet there. Some good detail. And then uh, as well in the blaster and on the uh, head. Yeah, even in these little uh, ear port things. Very nice. Very solid too. Like it feels like uh, like an action figure would. Yeah. Oh. And it builds like a dream. Like it's so easy to build this and uh, doesn't take long at all. I just wish I had kind of like a whole army of these. They really need to make a Mega Man X, Rockman X uh, series of figures. Like not just different iterations of Rockman here, of X, um, but, uh, you know, they need to have Vile, they need to have uh, every single villain bot that there is, you know? Sting Chameleon, I think that's the name, uh, and uh, all the other ones, Chill Penguin, Spark Mandrill, everything. They need it. I would buy them all. Now, sadly, you won't be able to swap out the head for uh, any Musume kit because uh, this has a very thick neck and a hollow uh, port there for this uh, ball joint to go and sit in. But uh, that's okay. With some customization, you could make it work. Look, even with some customization, you could uh, put uh, these legs on a Musume kit. Yes, this is a bit crude at the moment, but just to give an example, and that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and even uh, swapping out these arms, I'm sure you could find a way with some uh, pulleys and uh, magnets and things. Who knows, but it'll be possible. And uh, I will try it in the future. Yes, we want this blaster on a Musume kit for sure, or something, potentially. Yeah, or even these boots. So as you guys know, I really like this kit. Uh, it's everything I would have wanted from uh, a Mega Man kit. And uh, that's why I give it 8 out of 10 Sprickins. Yes, a well-deserved 8. Uh, there's a lot you could do with this to enjoy them. Put them on a cool diorama base, weather them up, uh, paint them as is. Put them in his original scheme if you don't have the original color kit. Paint them up in a cool 
different uh, colored look, like he stole one of the powers from beating a boss. Uh, or just use them for kit bashing. All those nice, super thick parts. Oh, I love it. And that blaster. Very good. So well deserved, 8 out of 10 sprickins. Yeah. So what do you guys think? It's a pretty awesome kit, huh? If I had one of these when I was a kid, I would never put it down. I would have lost my mind. I'd be playing with this all day and night. It's like the greatest action figure kit. Oh, so cool. The only disappointment is that there's not more. Oh, could you imagine if you had like, you know, Dust Man, Drill Man, or like the, some of the newer guys, like when I was playing Mega Man X, what was it, Spark Mandrill and uh, Sting Chameleon and all those things, the Quick Man from the old school ones. Oh, there's too many. And where's Vile? Oh my God, where's Vile from Mega Man X? Yeah, if they made these, all those, in kit form, I'd be bankrupt, I'd be, I'd be broke, I'd be buying them all just as much as I buy Masumi kits. That is the truth. So, uh, yeah, that's why I had to get this this guy. For nostalgia, but also to try and uh, kit bash. So what's coming to Sprickin Studios soon? Well, as you may have seen in the short, I'm working on a custom Megami device character, yes. It's uh, one of three sisters. One of the sisters is already done. So it's sister number two. And uh, I'm gonna be showing you how I make her from start to finish and just how kind of easy it is. Anybody can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Yes. And it's gonna be super fun and cool. Hmm. Um, I don't know if that motorcycle is gonna be made into a video. I'm racking my brains because it's like, it's so difficult. It involves glue and things, but then how do I put it together if I have to take it apart to paint it? How do I paint it as I go when the instructions don't tell me what is the colors of things so complicated huh I'll have to figure it out but so we got the custom Megami device character that should be our next video after an unboxing video um, so we have that and then we have I do want to make some dioramas from scratch some scratch built dioramas which I'm kind of currently working on um, and uh, we got some gunpla that I might want to paint up as well there's like too many things so many things I gotta do it's all fun. So if you guys like this, a little bit of a blast from the past. Uh, it was the last video I started making in Sprickin Studios 1.0 and I kind of gave up on it because uh, I thought I didn't have time and everything. But I figured, hey, may as well finish it and throw it up on the channel and uh, give you something else to watch before I post other things. Yes. Because some of these projects take a while. And man, oh man, is it a busy time. <laughs> Okay guys, it's time for me to get back to work on the uh, custom projects so I can get some more videos going. So have a nice weekend, uh, rest of the week, and stay cozy and keep creative. This is Mr. Spriggan. Yeah! Yeah! Saying 